data is everywhere due to which data is also known as the new oil it is so important nowadays that handling it storing it and extracting insights from it properly has become one of the very important task while working with this data it is important to know the types of data hi everyone welcome to my channel in this video we will see and understand different types of data in data science there are basically two types of data one is qualitative or categorical data and the second one is quantitative data further this is classified into four categories the first one is nominal data second is ordinal data third is discrete data and the final one is continuous data quantitative data can be expressed in numerical values making it countable and including statistical data analysis these kind of data are also known as numerical data these data answers the questions like how much how many and how often the example of quantitative data are like height weight time etc quantitative data is further classified into two parts one is discrete data and the second one is continuous data now let's see what are these data in details the term discrete means distinct or separate the discrete data contains the value that falls under integers or whole numbers the discrete data are countable and have finite values their subdivision is not possible some of the examples for discrete data are like total number of students in class cost of a cell phone number of employees in a company number of days in a week etc the next type of data are continuous data continuous data can be in the form of fraction numbers continuous data represents information that can be divided into smaller levels the continuous data can take any value into range height of a person wi-fi frequency speed of vehicle etc are some of the example of continuous data the second type of data is qualitative or categorical data Qualitative data cannot be measured or counted in the form of numbers. These type of data are sorted by category or groups. That is why it is known as categorical data. Under this category, data like audio, images, text, etc. are considered. The qualitative data tell you about the perception of people. Qualitative data is further classified into two parts. The first one is nominal data and the second is ordinal data. Nominal data is used to label variables without any order or quantitative value. The nominal comes from Latin word nomen which means name. With the help of nominal data we can do any numerical task or can give any order to sort the data. These data don't have any meaningful order. Their values are distributed into distinct categories. data like hair color marital status nationality gender etc are example of nominal data ordinal data are the type of data that have natural ordering where number is present in some kind of relative position or is ordered by position on their scale these data can be considered in between qualitative and quantitative data The ordinal data only shows the sequences and cannot be used for statistical analysis. Observations like customer satisfaction, letter grades in exams, economic status such as high, medium and low are some of the example of ordinal data. Now we will see and understand what is the difference between nominal and ordinal data. Nominal data cannot be quantified neither can be in any ordering. whereas ordinal data can give some kind of sequential order by their position on the scale nominal data is complete qualitative or categorical data ordinal data can be found between qualitative and quantitative data nominal data can't be used to compare with any other nominal data ordinal data can help to compare one item with another by ranking on ordering nominal data can't be quantified ordinal data can be quantified but cannot perform any arithmetic operations 
further we will see what is the difference between discrete and continuous data discrete data are countable and finite that is they are whole numbers or integers whereas the continuous data are measurable they are in the form of decimal or fraction discrete type of data are mainly represented by bar graph whereas continuous data are mostly represented using histogram the value of discrete data cannot be divided into smaller pieces whereas the value of continuous data can be divided into subdivision or into smaller pieces discrete data have spaces between the values but the continuous data are in the form of continuous sequence the key difference between discrete and continuous data is that discrete data contains integer or whole number and continuous data store the fraction number to record different types of data hence summing up the categories of data the data can be divided into two broad categories that is quantitative data and qualitative or categorical data further the quantitative data is divided into two categories one is discrete data and the second one is continuous data and the qualitative or categorical data is further divided into two categories one is nominal data and second one is ordinal data in our upcoming videos we will learn more about data training of data and data types for data analysis if you like this video please like share and subscribe you can reach out through comment section if you have any question and concern and don't forget to subscribe our channel Thank you have a good day